Hey, so if you happen to have a control surface, in my case, I have a Behringer X-Touch, but in your DAW, you know, some of these function keys don't, you know, particularly map out or do anything. Um, I'm going to show you what I did in order to be able to gain the functionality of some of these buttons and especially assign them to uh, shortcuts. So come alongside and uh, let me show you what I did in order to uh, be able to gain functionality of these buttons inside of my DAW. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I did for my particular situation. Um, I initially did it inside of Ableton, pulled it over, you know, installed it on my uh, iMac as well, and uh, where I run Luna, and it's working great over here. So um, I used a, an app called MIDI Shortcut, you know, picked it up, you know, 25 bucks or so, somewhere in there. Um, went to a website. Um, I can't pronounce them. It's like how how te technique how to technique. Anyway, it's right here, and I'll provide a link um, inside of the description for this video. Um, but bottom line is, installed this. It was real simple. Um, and let me go here. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this out because I already had it in there once. But I'm gonna use it as a demonstration purposes. So let's say, for instance, I'm inside of Luna. And uh, one of the things that I want to be able to do is have a shortcut, let's say, for instance, you know, to create a new track. Well, I haven't seen anywhere where I can do a MIDI learn for creating a new track. It's just basically a shortcut. Um, so um, that shortcut basically is going to be shift uh, command in and on the Mac. All right. Um, this also works for Windows. You know, so they sell a Windows version as well. But as far as for the Mac, Shift uh, Shift Command N is what brings that up. Now, in order to map that out to your controller, and let's go back over to MIDI Shortcut, right? So you're gonna go ahead and click the little plus sign because you want to create a new map. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and hit MIDI Learn right up in here. And then on your controller, I'm pushing the button down here. So click down here, um, pushing the button that I want mapped out to create a new track. And inside of MIDI shortcut, it's capturing that. So then I'm going to go down to the second learn to capture the shortcut so that way it can map it out. So I'm shift command in, and it looks like it's in there. Down here in the description, it says shift command plus command plus N. I want to change that because I want to give it the name for what it's actually doing. In my in my particular case, it's creating a new track, new track. OK, um, and then I'm going to enable it up here. So very important to make sure you enable it Can see how it grays out when it's not enabled. So enable it so that way it's actually active. And um, right here, this is where you can actually set it to whatever controller you have. In my case, I've got the X-Touch by Behringer and I want it to go to the internal. Um, so the other thing too is I like to save my configuration. So on the menu here, click File, Save As, and I already got it called, I call it Luna Com Configuration and I'm just gonna save it overwrite the other one that I have in there. Now, I'm going to close this out. It runs in the background up in my little tray up here. I have it set up to even start at login. So when I first log in, it'll automatically fire up and just run in the background. It doesn't take up hardly any CPU at all. All right. Now, inside of Luna, I'm just going to go to my control surface. I'm going to hit the, you know, the button on my control surface and bam. Notice here it came up and said new track. It had the little the little hint button so every time i press that it says new track and my create new track dialog pops open and i can just go ahead and handle my business from there and that's it all right midi shortcut hope that helps somebody out